Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another lecture. And today I'm back with a question based on summation. So we need to find the infinite sum of the following series. So this series that we have here, n goes from 1 to infinity. And the series is 2n square plus 3n plus 4 upon 2n factorial. This sum is equal to 11e upon 2 plus 7 upon 2e. Is it 13e upon 4 plus 5 upon 4e minus 4? Is it 11e upon 2 plus 7e upon 2 uh, minus 4? It should be 11e upon 2 in the option 7 upon 2e minus 4. So it's a relatable option. 13e upon 4 plus 5 by 4. E in the denominator. 5 by 4 E. Okay. So this is the question. This is the sum that we have to uh, look for. What I'm going to do first of all is, see, in your options, you can see E. In a lot of places, in all the options, you can see E. So somehow you will have to reach down in your mind. You must be thinking that we will have to use the E series, E expansion out here to the power X expansion somewhere. This, this should be one thing in your mind. But of course, we also see factorial here, but we do see a numerator here, which we should try to first of all simplify so that we can break this term. Let's consider your numerator so let's consider your numerator 2n square plus 3n plus 4 i will combine 2 and factorial later i'm just considering the numerator as of now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use a little bit of trick so i'm going to multiply and divide by 2 so it's going to be 2 into 2n square plus 6n plus 8, right? So here is that I'm dividing by 2, so I'm multiplying by 2 as well. Now I'll try to factor out this, how I can do that. Let's see. So this will be, I can say this is. 1 upon 2 outside and here you have I'm gonna add and subtract something here I'm gonna add and subtract 2n so what we can do is um, we can put minus 2n plus 2n plus 6n plus 8 So this will give us half. I can take 2n common and I'm going to get 2n minus 1 here. Then I have 8n plus 8 here, right? Now I will consider the denominator as well. So what we have is 2n square plus 3n plus 4 upon 2n factorial and that I think I can write it down now as half outside it is 2n into 2n minus 1 plus 8n plus 8 upon 2n factorial. Now, what I can do is, I can say that this is basically half and 2 cancels out n into 2n minus 1 upon 2n factorial. 2n factorial is basically 2n into 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 2 factorial plus I am taking this half inside. So 8 also cancels out and gives you 4. 4 into n plus 1 upon 2n factorial. Okay. 
or what I can also say is this is basically n n cancels two n minus one cancels with two n minus one. I get one upon two into two n minus two factorial plus four n upon two n into 2n minus 1 factorial plus 4 upon 2n factorial. So here also 1n cancels, 1, 2 cancels and what you get is 1 upon 2 into 2n minus 2 factorial plus 2 upon 2n minus 1 factorial plus 4 upon 2n factorial. Now just observe the kind of terms that you will have. From the options, we know that we should be using e to the power x somewhere because the options are actually talking about e and this is a summation. It includes factorials. Um, we know that e to the power x is x to the power 0 plus x to the power 1 plus x to the power 2 upon 2 factorial, so on and so forth. Basically, it is summation x to the power k upon k factorial, where k goes from 0 to infinity. Okay, so x to the power 0 upon 0 factorial, x to the power 1 upon 1 factorial, so on and so forth. That's what it is. Okay, so e to the power 1 clearly will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 factorial plus 1 upon 3 factorial plus so on and so forth. e to the power minus 1 will be 1 minus 1 plus 1 upon 2 factorial because you know you will be squaring minus 1. So that will be plus. So with all the odd powers you will have minus and with all the even powers you will have all the even with all the even numbers you will have plus. Okay. So if we look at this is basically 1 upon e. So if we look at e minus 1 upon e, what do I get? If I look at e minus 1 upon e, what's going to happen is I'll have 2, this and this gets added, this gets subtracted. This even 1 will get subtracted. Odd 1 will become 2 times Similarly, 2 upon 5 factorial plus so on and so forth, right? Or I can say it is 2 into 1 plus 1 upon 3 factorial plus 1 upon 5 factorial plus so on and so forth. Okay, now how do I relate it to the sum that we have? Now consider the entire sum. Now consider the summation as n goes to from 1 to infinity, what we had? We had 2n square plus 3n plus 4 upon 2n factorial. Now this sum turns into this sum. We have seen that it boils down to after simplifying it a little it boils down to summation. By the property of summation, you can break the sum, right? So if it's the entire sum, I can break it as the sum of each. So it is sum of 1 upon 2 into 2n minus 2 factorial plus summation. It is 2 upon 2n minus 1 factorial plus it is 4 times upon 2n factorial, the sum of it. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay. So this becomes 1 upon 2 could be kept outside. Summation 1 upon 2n minus 2 factorial plus Two could be kept outside summation 1 upon 2n minus 1 factorial 
plus 4 could be kept outside 1 upon 2 n factorial. Now you must pause again and just see what these summations are. Pause and just see what these summations are in terms of the terms and then I think you will be able to figure out your answer yourself. So if you have observed summation 1 upon 2 n minus 2 factorial basically gives you 1 plus 1 upon 2 factorial plus 1 upon 6 factorial. How? Just put in the values of n. Okay. And open the summation. 1 upon sum of 1 upon 2 n minus 1 factorial gives you 1 plus 1 upon 3 factorial plus 1 upon 5 factorial. Aise a jayega. Bas n ki value dalni hai. So 1 upon 2 n factorial as n goes from 1 to infinity will give you 1 upon 2 factorial plus 1 upon 4 factorial so on and so forth. So I did show you how we are getting the sum of odd. So how are we getting it? If we subtract e and if we subtract e and 1 upon e. So if we subtract 1 upon e from e basically, we are getting just 1 plus 1 upon 3 factorial so on and so forth, the twice of it. Then I think from here you can also see if you what happens if you add e plus 1 upon e. If you add up all your, what will happen? All the odd terms will go away. So you will get 2 plus 2 upon 2 factorial plus 2 upon 4 factorial so on and so forth. That is twice or 1 plus 1 upon 2 factorial plus 1 upon 4 factorial plus so on and so forth. So I guess we can make use of this as well. So we can make use of this fact and this fact. So let's just substitute now. We can see these terms out here. So 1 plus 1 upon 2 factorial is what you get here. So this is basically e plus 1 by e upon 2. So what you get, the sum is half of e plus 1 by e by 2. Okay? That's what it is, right? And then the next term, the next term that we have is this. It's twice of, what do we have? We get from that summation, we get this. And the value of this sum is twice of, uh, the value of this is e minus 1 by e upon 2. So you have twice of e minus 1 by e by 2. Okay. And then you have four times summation 1 upon 2 n factorial and 2 n factorial is basically this. Well, this is a value that you can generate from here. Right, you can generate this value from here. This value basically will be e plus 1 upon uh, e whole thing upon 2 minus 1. So, this value will be e plus 1 upon e by 2 whole thing minus 1. Now, let's just open this up. Let's see what we are getting. We're getting 1 upon 4 e plus 1 upon e plus 2 2 cancels e minus 1 upon e plus 4 times 2 could be taken out common e plus 1 by e minus 2. So what we are essentially getting here is let's now collect the terms for e and 1 by e to get a simplified form. And then we can compare it to the options that we have. So if I look at just E, I'm getting 1 by 4 from the first bracket, 1 from the other, and 2 from the third bracket, right? Plus 1 by E, if I take 1 by E common, I'm getting 1 by 4 from the first bracket, minus 1 from the second bracket, and I'm getting, this cancels and you get, Two from the third bracket. And then if I talk about the constant term, the constant term is just with the third bracket and that is minus plus two into minus two. So that's minus four. 
So this is what you are getting. Let's see. Let's take the LCM. So you will get E uh, 1 plus 4 plus 8 upon 4 plus 1 upon E 1 minus 4 plus 8 upon 4 minus 4. So we are getting 13 by 4 times E. Then we are getting 5 by 4 times 1 by E. So E is in the denominator minus 4. So this is the final answer. Maybe some of you were able to observe it uh, from the summations that we got. But for others who probably do not know how to solve it, I just wanted to give an explanatory answer to it. So this is what it should turn out to be this sum. And what we have majorly used here is a series for E, which is a very important series for you guys to know from the entrance point of view. Okay, so do we have this option? Oh yes, B option, it is pretty much here. So B is the correct option. I hope you have understood what exactly has been the procedure, the trick here and the series of E. And I hope that stays in your mind for a long time now. Thank you very much.